G'day everyone, this is yet another Mick Make Mail bag um, or Mick Make Mail segment, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've got three nice packages that have just arrived. So uh, let's get stuck into it. Uh, the first one I know comes from Spark Fun. That's, that's handy, don't need the scissors. There was a couple of uh, ding and dents from Spark Fun that I wanted to get, and the reason being is that they were fairly cheap. So these are small SMD modules, and I bought about eight of them, GPS modules. So these ones, uh, they support 65 uh, channels. Uh, what is it? 10 hertz refresh rate, uh, 29 second, I think the 30 second cold start, uh, and one second hot start. And these cost me 11 bucks US. So that's pretty good. I got eight of them. You can never have too many GPS modules. So that's uh, from SparkFun. Uh, the second one comes from Amazon. And I know which one this one is too. So this is a board that you would know about. And it's the Tinkerboard. They finally managed to get their finger out and started shipping these boards. If you want to be able to support my channel, I've put in a link to where you can buy this on Amazon. Um, and it's, it's an affiliate link, so um, if you buy uh, through that link, some of it will uh, come back to me and support me. Uh, so the Tinkerboard. This is a really nice uh, little board that is probably destined to take on the Raspberry Pi. Oh, a little heatsink, nice. So, this one is quite a nice little board. Uh, contains the Rockchip RK3288, uh, which is a quad-core Cortex-A17, I think. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Uh, 1.8 gigahertz, uh, 2 gigs DDR3 RAM. Uh, what else? Uh, gigabit Ethernet, which is really nice. Um, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. There's a Wi-Fi Bluetooth. And it's got a little uh, aerial you can use. Uh, USB 2 ports, we've got four of those USB 2 ports. The audio is really nice, it's 192 kilohertz, I think 24 bit audio. Uh, it's also got SP diff, it's supposed to have SP diff, but I'm, I think it's probably located somewhere here. MIPI CSI, MIPI DSI, those two. Uh, the only problem is that they're still using the dodgy USB power, which I don't really agree with it. I should really start using DC jacks, you know, something that can actually support the proper um, currents. Um, a 2 gig DDR3 RAM. And when I get round to my review, we'll actually see if it actually is uh, Raspberry Pi compatible. Um, so that's actually a nice board. Let me let me check this in comparison. You can see it's pretty much the same format, power, everything. Just everything lines up. This will be able to slot straight into a standard uh, Pi case. So hopefully it actually fits in. Oh, look at that. So there you go. It fits in nicely uh, into to any uh, Raspberry Pi case. So really the, the Tinkerboard is a, a direct competitor to the uh, Raspberry Pi. We all know uh, what they're trying to do here. Um, there's no secrets there. So uh, it'll be interesting to get stuck into this one and see exactly what it's like. Nice. Okay, so the next one, a package that was sent to me by the Maker. They sent me a review model to see what I thought of it. So here it is. Uh, it arrived pretty quickly. I think they were pretty keen for me to, to try it out. Um, they contacted me, I think, um, two, three days ago, and it arrived, uh, you know, within three days, um, straight from you know, wherever it came from. So, oh man, this is nicely packed. Uh, so, yeah, power pack. I need that one. There we go. High key 960, nice. So this board is one serious board. Uh, contains the Kieran 960 SOC, which is a big little architecture. Uh, four Cortex A73s and four Cortex A53s. Uh, you have four gigs, uh, three gigs DDR3 RAM. Um, it's also got 32 gigs UFS flash, which I think is probably the first SBC to have one. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 
uh, DC power jack, which is actually infinitely better than USB based power jacks. Um, USB 3.0, which is nice. USB C, uh, HDMI, of course, SD slot, and the uh, 96 boards compliant headers. This is a fast GPIO, that's a slow GPIO. Um, what else has it got? PCIe M2 slot, which is really nice. Um, so I really can't wait to get stuck into this one. Um, as far as I know, Linux isn't supported yet, but they're working on uh, getting Linux support for it. Uh, Android definitely is there, um, but Linux, we've got to wait for a while, I think, for Linux support. So I'd really like to get this uh, review done as well. Uh, actually, so if we compare them side by side, it's the same footprint. Um, it would have been nice to get the active heatsink for the Hi-Key 960, but um, I didn't get that one. I'll have to find uh, an active heatsink for that. So it's a nice little uh, mailbag. So stay tuned this weekend for a review of the Tinkerboard, where my patrons voted this as being the next video on the schedule. Uh, if you'd like to vote on upcoming videos on my channel, then you can have the chance to do that if you become a patron as well. That not only supports me and this channel, but it also gives you a chance to vote on upcoming videos. This board I'm also reviewing in a collaboration with another channel. So stay tuned for who that is this weekend, where you'll find out everything. Thanks for watching. See you next week.